Coach Sean here. Today I want to give you a few tips on how to improve the rack position with a kettlebell when you're performing front squats. Okay, so first off, the, the common problem is many people can't quite get the wrist position, they end up shrugging up with the shoulders and then the elbow flares out to try to stabilize the kettlebell because they're not used to the movement for one, but they fail to get this proper rack position which essentially is recruiting the lat muscle, which is connected to the hips and stabilizes the trunk and also um, increases the awareness around the posterior shoulder. Okay, so posterior shoulder, rotator cuff, lat, uh, triceps, all those muscles, they work together. And when you can lock it in, you have a strong foundation for a good press and also the rack position for squats or lunges or whatever exercise or simply walking. Okay. Um, this happens because many people live up here. Their, their traps are overdeveloped for modern living, phoning it all day, or computer work, whatever, maybe a commute. Um, so there, there's a lot of excessive tension in the traps and they cannot, as a result, they cannot effectively depress their shoulder girdle, right? There's a lack of awareness around the posterior shoulder. They cannot recruit the lats and there's this, this dysfunction that just keeps happening. Okay, so this is what I want you to do. A couple, um, couple drills to help solve this, to help with this. First off, big shoulder circles, 10 to 20 backwards and then forwards. That's going to send blood flow, nutrient delivery, more awareness around the shoulder. Okay, same thing for the other side, 10 to 20 backwards, 10 to 20 forwards. Okay, once that's done, I want you to perform a plank but a very specific plank, okay? We're working on depressing the shoulder girdle and recruiting the lats. So, you're going to get into a plank on your forearms. And you, you can't see this in the video, but I want you to pull the elbows down towards your hips and hold. Relax for a second and then pull again down towards the hips and compress, hold. Okay, do that three to five times. And then finally, with a kettlebell that you're comfortable with, we're going to hold the bottoms up position. And what does that look like? Well, that same plank position, pulling the elbow down and supporting a kettlebell. If you do not feel significant difference in your lats and the posterior shoulder at this point, well, you might have to get it looked at, but those drills done consistently can help fix that rack position. And once you get it, holding the kettlebell strict here, pulling that, that shoulder down and recruiting your lat muscles while bracing the core should be no issue whatsoever. Okay, my name is Sean Charlebois. I own and run the Barry Kettlebell Club. 